Universal Solvent. When I was in the university, I had so many ideas. It's almost nice in a way to have just the one now. Do you feel it too? A sense as though I were being guided along a path towards some inevitability. Shame that nobody will ever know about how I made the universal solvent under great duress with only the barest of ingredients. Perhaps someone will tell the story one day. Seems rather unlikely. The whole point of making this is so there won't be any evidence left behind. Oh my god. What is with all these snowflakey patterns that we're, uh, we're making now? Okay. So we've got a tin in the middle. At least I only have to transmute once. Please give me the quicksilver transmutation. Uh, no. Got to do it this way. Okay. Yeah. Salt and lead, right? Uh... Okay, salt and lead. So, we need to make a tin. That's straightforward. <laughs> no worries. How long have you been playing this game for? Let's do the easy bit. Uh, grab. Rotate. Reset. Grab. Rotate. Reset. Dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Okay. I think you're on your nine sessions, so maybe 25 hours. Okay, so sim uh, I guess similar to me then? Sounds like you got through the puzzles a little bit faster than I did. Um, yeah, this is my. Whatever it is. Whatever the Twitch title says. 11th session, I think. Although some of them were just uh, were short sessions just doing one puzzle. Okay, so that gets us 10. Alright, so... Let's do the usual thingy when we've got a... Molecule in... We've got an atom in the middle. Grab it with an arm and move it into the area where we will do the bonding. Need guard. Okay, maybe this is not so bad. Maybe this is actually similar to some of the other ones we've done. You forget about the bonding things. You move all the atoms into place and then yeah, I've, I've kind of done it where I've, yeah, you're moving atoms into place and then started rotating them and it's like, oh, shoot, they're not actually going to rotate because they're not actually stuck together. Oops. And then you put the bonders in, and then they create the bond in the right place, but then as soon as it rotates, then suddenly you've got a bond in the wrong place. It's like, no, where do I need to move it to? Uh, but we'll dump, yeah, we'll dump the tin there, and then we will see if we can get this guy. Uh, yeah, mm, 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 gonna do this. We kind of want that there because we want to move in. Both, oh, I can't remember the names of these. Light and dark. Um, and we need to move. Is that going to be too close? Possibly. We'll grab the light, we'll move the light in there. And then we'll pivot this around. And we'll grab the dark and put the dark in there. Mm. If I'm going to do that, 
and I'm better doing that. And we'll do the dark first. And then it'll be in the right place when we pivot it back around. Uh, but how do I get that in there? Well, I could do it with an arm here, but that's going to get in the way. Although, actually, I can't. I can't do all of my. Usually, with these things, I, I bring in the center atom, and then I just rotate everything around it to get the bonds how I need them. But I can't do this here because. the bonds are not symmetrical. So maybe this is going to be fine and we're going to have to move it out somewhere to do the second part of the assembly anyway. Because once we've, once we've got this, which maybe means I could make this a bit tighter as well, save some area. Rotate, but I can rotate it that way. You built it in several stages. Yeah, I'm thinking go for the, go for this first. Ooh, but hang on. Hmm. No, maybe that's not a good idea this time. Because building a building a circular ring is not too difficult. Then maybe we want to insert these at the end. That might be a better idea. Okay, change of plan. is going to become one. Uh, the downside with that approach though is that as we spin this round to build this ring we could be sticking on salt. At the same time. Maybe we still could. Maybe we still could. Okay, I don't think it matters what we start with. I haven't used any of the salt yet. Salt's going to go do that. As soon as I put anything here, I'm not going to be able to do the salt attachment thing. Salt, move it in there, transform it, move it in there, and we've kept some space around here. Then one grabs it, moves it, and then we just spin around and off we go. Well, off we go, except.
looks like we do need the light and the dark. Get rid of that for now. Okay, this piece of the solution can hang out over there for now. Um, get rid of that for now. What, we, what do we want first? The light. Okay, let's spin this round again. Ah. Uh, we need a way of getting that in there. This. This only transmutes. No, that's not good. Shoot. Uh, I'm going to. This seems a bit bonkers. So I'm going to get salt in there now. Well, I guess I can... I'm not sure about this. To get it, we need to get it in the oh my god. Okay, let's just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Bring uh, bring that back there. These two over here. Needs to end up in there. So it can come from here. This might be a bit close. It does have the advantage of keeping the salt near this ring. Terrible trouble with things colliding. I 
I mean, I can put that there. It's just it's kind of too far out of the way. Oh god, worry about that in a minute, I guess. Why do I have so many arms? Why am I up to eight arms already? That's insane. I want to I want to grab this and, and pull it up so I can see all of my lines at once. Um all right. Let's make six one. Grab it. Yeah. <laughs> eight arms. I'm sure there's going to be more than eight by the time we finish as well. Two very angry octopuses probably will be the final result. Okay, let's rotate. So we rotate that twice. That becomes a fire atom. And get back. Once we've let go, two can grab it and rotate. And it's going to chill until the next one comes in. Uh, and the next one. Oh no, this isn't going to work. It's going to be a. Well, we've got to start. We know we've got to start with the light. You only use six. You could optimize to five. Wow. Okay. Now I feel grossly inefficient. That's fine. Build something that works. I keep telling myself, build something that works first and then optimize. Don't worry about it using too many arms to start with. Uh, but yeah, this isn't going to work because that's going to collide with that. So. Uh, that just means we have to start with start with this, but then oh, and then I've got to I've got to build everything except the last one. Yeah, no, I can't start with that because it. I I have to start with. Let's make sure I do this the right way and don't end up making a mirror image. I guess I actually want to start with. This is this is not this is no good. This isn't going to work. Go away. Nuts to it. I'm just going to build. I'm just going to build this the inner ring first. I'm going to worry about keeping everything distant because that just makes it harder. So we got to start with this. I'm going to try and keep stuff out of the way a little bit. Um, no, we've got to move a salt in there. We do, we do kind of need to do that. So one grab, so okay, so the start's fine. As soon as one has passed through, it's going to be here. This can start rotating. One, two, three positions, either direction, doesn't matter. One, two, three. Then one does its thing again. And Two does its thing again. And then we've got fire. Let's just make sure we're four and five. Okay, that's fine. Let's 
make sure this does this the right thing. Okay. The water and fire. That's fine. Okay. Next one has got to be the light. So. How do we squeeze that in? Preferably into there. put it there then one can grab it and bring it in that way let's do this step by step and not worry about relative positioning just yet so we need one there and we need one over this side so this one and this one back to the octopus so one two three I'm going to make seven, four, and eight, five. So right at the beginning, four can grab. We take counterclockwise. Reset. Five. Grab. We take clockwise. Reset. That means that uh, by the time one gets back, actually one doesn't want to reset after this. One wants to grab and rotate. Then he wants to drop off. But then he wants to keep rotating. Bum bum until he gets to here. And then it's gonna grab. And then it's going to go back clockwise. Boom, boom. And then it's going to reset. And this. Wait. Okay, so it drops it here. Then two does that. Okay, good. Next up, green. So one has reset. It's gonna do those again. But before it gets here, number three has to have three be on three will be on fire and so it needs to go one clockwise to get to green okay it's the green okay next up is blue so it's got to rotate three's got to rotate three times Okay, so we've finished our ring. It looks right. So now, 
we need to get this thing which is in a terrible position let's put this in a better position to rotate this across actually well this will be empty now I need the tin So anyway, I could be sticking these on as this was going around. That would make life easier as well. Part of me wonders if I should have been making pairs of these things, one salt, one regular, and then passing them on to be assembled. Oh, I think I should have done that. I have done that. make it too hard for myself by trying to do that maybe yeah I don't know sometimes <laughs> oh yeah I that's the only problem. Hmm. Oh, but it would be so much more elegant though. Okay, all right, let's not go down that road. Talk me out of it. It's probably a good thing. Otherwise, you're right. I would have had to start. I'll have to start pulling all of this stuff away, and then uh, we get to a bad place. So let's focus on. Yeah, it's true. Let's focus on getting the center in the center. Um, So I might be able to do something like this. Grab it, rotate it through here. It's currently ending up there, but I can move this wherever I want. If I, is, I assemble it radially, then I can push it in afterwards. But that's not true because I've. Hey, Justin! <laughs> How are you doing?
Wait, you're not the one who, who said watching Opus Magnum sends you to sleep, right? That was somebody else. I think that was Olivan. Or are you just yawning because it's uh, 10, 30, 11, 12, 1, 2, 30 in the morning? Oh, it was you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Wait. Uh, you confuse me with your two accounts. Who's your, wait, who's your other account? You are here, Olivan? Three twenty nine, man. Right, yes. Yeah, I remembered. I remembered you were Francis. I, I forgot that you were here, Olivan, as well. Making my life hard. I keep track of you. Have you been? three. Good. Glad to hear it. Where are you then if you're five hours ahead? You must be uh, you must be Western Europe somewhere. <laughs> Belgium. Okay. Yeah, I sometimes get UK people watching uh, watching this stream and they're four hours ahead. But yeah, it's even worse for you, right? But it's Sunday tomorrow, so you can lie in, right? That's the good thing. Hopefully. Unless you have to work on Sunday. Hope you're not somebody who has to work on Sunday. Uh, you've got appointments at eight? Oh my God. <laughs> Your wife does, okay. You got a driver? She's gonna have no sympathy for you, you know, if you if you're half asleep in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I am not a morning person either. Uh, I do I do like to stay up and late and uh, well, I like to stay up late and get up early. Which is not a good, good combination. Requires a bucket of coffee. Yeah, I'm sure. That's the thing with, uh, with a lot of these games. It's just too easy to get sucked in. Before you know it, it's 2 a.m. Like, no. I was going to get up at 7 o'clock and go for a run. And now that's never going to happen. Uh, no monster slayers tonight. No, um, no. I did a I did a run last night because I I had yesterday off work, so I played a bit of Opus Magnum during the day yesterday. Uh, my brain was uh, thoroughly fried by the end of the day, so uh, yeah, I decided to do a, a monster slayers run last night. <laughs> you wake up every day at seven, go up to pee, and then get back in bed. That sounds like a, a decent plan. Um, yeah, so no, did did the ranger run last night. Um, happy to get a, a win in that first time as well. That was uh, that was good. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably keep. Will I keep dipping in and out of Monster Slayers? I might. Ugh. Trouble is, I'm just I'm just constantly finding new games that look interesting. So I don't know what I was doing. I was just yeah made the mistake of going to the Steam Steam Store homepage today. Never never do that. Uh, just to see what was there. Um, and there's a game called shapes.io i don't know if you've heard about that um but that's another factory optimization game it's actually open source which is kind of cool um so yeah the source code for that's on github so anybody can contribute to it i guess um well i don't know if anybody can contribute or the guys just made it visible so everybody can see what the code is um but that's yeah. That seems like a re it's a very minimalistic, but really nice looking uh, factory optimization game. A kind of abstract version of Factorio, uh, but again, I guess you know similar to this stuff as well. You've seen it. 
Um, it does look cool. Yeah, I, I played it. There's a uh, there's a free demo that you can play in your browser, um, which is uh, so yeah, I played that for a little bit, uh, and it seemed cool. And it's normally only five bucks on Steam anyway, and at the moment it's uh, on sale for like I don't know three dollars fifty or something. Like okay, super cheap. Why not? So that's now that's now sat on my desktop ready to play. Oh, so many games, so many games. And I want to, I want to, I still want to check out, um, yeah, all the ones you recommended. Um, and I want to check out Dyson Sphere program as well. I keep meaning to jump into that. Just too much to play, not enough time. If Jesus did not resurrect, I'll get out of his grip before noon. I see no reason for me to wake up much earlier either. Quite right. Uh, all right, so how are we how are we gonna how are we gonna fix this? Or not fix it? It's not actually broken at the moment. We need to pull this. Pulling it that way is probably not a bad way to go. We gotta stick this together and this together and then insert them into the middle. <laughs> what if I can? to kind of shunt it. Uh, do I need to shunt it to over if this pushes it to here? And then rotates. Where will everything be? Comes there. Ooh, that might work. Let's try that. Make a piston. Um, so two is going to let go here, which is going to let one. Oh, hang on. You can't rotate if one's still got hold of it. Ah, one's got to let go and then pick it back up again. I guess that's okay. And then we're gonna extend twice. Uh, if I don't want to be sucked into a game, I would recommend not playing Knock on the Coffin Lid. Play the spy with better graphics, decent story, and about ten times as many different weapons and gear. Perfectly valid points about Slay the Spire. Um, but for some reason, yeah, that, that didn't bother me. Um, yeah, I know, I know a few other people who were put off Slay the Spire by the graphics as well. But it's not, I don't know, it's not... It's I, I guess it's, it's a stylistic thing, right? I mean, the, the graphics are not bad or minimalistic by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, compared to a lot of, you know, 8-bit games. Um, that are popular at the moment. Um, but I do know what you mean. Um, yeah, no, no story I don't, I definitely don't care about. In a game like Slay the Spire, I kind of really don't want there to be a story. So I don't know if you've played Griftlands. Uh, that's another roguelike deck building game. And that's heavy on the story. Um, so again, you can play as three characters and they all have their own story. And, and you're kind of following their story as they kind of go through the game world. But the problem I found with that though is for a, for a like for a roguelike where you want to be playing it again and again and again, doing the same story again and again and again, even with like kind of some variations to it, I kind of just didn't want to do that. I didn't. Yeah, so that actually put me off. Uh, that put me off Griftlands. Um, so I did. I did finish it with the two characters that were available at the time that I played it. 
Um, but I'm not, I haven't gone back and played the third. Story of Knock on the Coffin Lid is interesting because you do not get the complete story unless you complete maybe 10 runs. Okay. Are you one of the devs of Knock on the Coffin Lid? You keep you keep pushing me to play it. <sighs> you get... feel, feel free to carry on. I, I don't mind. You are, you are going to succeed in, in getting me to check it out. <laughs> oh, are they Russian? Okay. Didn't realise they were Russian. Okay. I will check it out. I promise I will check it out. Um, but yeah, I, I think the thing that put me off about trying it immediately was because I saw like the latest dev post on Steam said something about... Um, I don't know, something like they've, they've had a lot of feedback and they're, they're planning to significantly rewrite potentially some of the core systems. Um, so yeah, that made me think, oh, okay, maybe I should wait until they've they've kind of done that um, before trying it. I mean, I know you said it's 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 pretty good already, um, but if they are going to be making quite big changes to it, I think I'd probably rather wait. But I'm I'm, I'm keeping my eye on it for sure. If it comes up in a Steam sale, I will uh, I'll get it as well. Um, and then I am much more likely to play it sooner rather than later. Okay, so what are we doing? One was grabbing and then it was going to extend twice. So let's fast forward. Uh, no. How did that? Oh, two did another rotation. We don't want it to do another rotation. Or a tip is told in the game at random, depending on your path and the decisions you make. Your different nuggets of information. Okay. Oh, is that the one that's only 10 bucks? Yeah, there was one of the... Um, Quick look now. There was one of the uh, Slay of the Spire likes that was cheaper. Ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Knock on the coffin lid. Oh, yeah, it is only 10 bucks. You're right. Okay, so we don't want two to rotate. We want it to stay where it is. And let go, and that goes there. Right, okay. Uh, wait, did we need to do two? I don't think we did. One, and then pivot clockwise. Okay, so now we can stick, if we can assemble the middle bit. Well, yeah, but how are we gonna get it in way up there? to do it another one. Oh, it's, it's not feeling great. Tower. God.
I mean, I can get something to pick it up and just bring it down here. This feels like a lot of work just to make this middle bit. But maybe, maybe if we bring it down into this area, and then we can use this salt here for attaching on the outside. Maybe we maybe we can do that assembly process in here. But I'm not loving this solution. track and a piston arm because we're probably going to need a piston arm uh, cool no worries thanks for dropping by enjoy your sleep uh, have a good day tomorrow i'll see you next time Good luck. <laughs> uh, part of me wants to move this up into here. Do that. Maybe I'm just worried that's going to make it harder to stick on the salt. Might definitely make it harder to stick on the salt. So, okay. Let's move. Let's move this across. going to end up there. So we're going to use another bonder here. We will slide this in. Uh, oh, we kind of want to use that bonder to bond the dark as well. Oh, hang on, but the plan was to... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do that. Still have the slight problem of getting this to there. track oh my god this feels so belt and braces like everything is every little problem is being solved by adding a bunch of extra machinery this feels bad and inefficient Let's just do it. So, um, I'm not sure we can start doing this until this has been moved out up here. Oh no, I see a problem already. Do I? Maybe that's fine. What 
point can I start? So I can't move this yet. I can move it there. So nine. Oh my God. Can pick up here. It's the stop key. Escape. The nine can pick up there. And then it can rotate counterclockwise. And it can go along the track two positions. Oh, I wish there was a bonder that was kind of like this one, but where the where this instead of being on this side was on this side. It would let me do things like these bonds much easier. Uh, but there isn't, so I can't. If nine, if nine has moved there, actually eight can still do its thing. Gate can probably go at the same time. And yeah, I can actually go any time before this. Let's kind of try and get it together. Uh, then we'll pull it in. Start moving down the track. Well, 10 can only start moving down the track here. So it grabs it. Uh, I don't know, three positions? Let's go to here. Oh, wait. Wrong way around. Tin needs to be on the inside. Apart from that, does it work? Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Uh, well, that's no good then, is it? So that then gets this in the right place. Now the only problem is... Uh, actually, let's make this a piston. <laughs> and instead of eight coming in... We will bring nine in one position. Then we'll get eight in there some other way. Ah, uh, like how? How are we gonna get eight in there? Well, we can get eight in there at any time. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna grab this.
I hit the lead? I don't think so, which means... Which means... Well, we'll keep that as... Nine, it might get that. We'll figure that out if it does. We'll keep that as nine starting position because that's where I want to reset back to. Uh, but while all the other assembly is going on, nine can extend. Uh, actually, at what point will that be made? Six and seven. Six and seven here. Extend just in time. Grab. Advance along the track. And reset. That will have dumped it in there. Ooh, is that going to be a problem? That might be a problem. That is. One, that's not done what it needs to do. And two, that is very definitely going to be a problem because that's getting pushed into that spot. Okay, well, it was a nice idea. <laughs> Bring this over here instead. Many arms. God, this is horribly inefficient. Maybe I will start this over here. Okay, get rid of these. point can that do its thing? Ooh. Cart, not from that direction. It's got to be slower. Okay, fine. Fine. You care about speed. Get some in the works. Uh, we didn't work out at which point you can actually start going there. Point where it actually, yeah, the point where it's currently grabbing. Is the point where actually it needs to be injecting. So that means if we grab somewhere around here and we rotate clockwise twice. Extend once, and then extend twice, and we get rid of that. We move that there. Then these things don't work because we are now in the wrong place. Can we just go back along the track and be in the right place? Oh 
shoot. Too early. No. Oh, too too early. It needs to go later. I'm sure it could have gone one earlier, couldn't it? Where is your regnum? Came here to watch regnum. Uh, oh, what do you mean? What's Regnum? Sorry, I'm being dense. <sighs> well, that does get it in the right place at least. The search I appear when you browse Champions of Regnum? I have no idea why that would be. I don't even know what Champions of Regnum is, sorry. Start nine a little earlier. I feel like we ought to be able to. No, we really can't. it out of the way which is good uh, now I do need to do that don't I okay well let's go with it this oh god I don't like this solution do not like this solution Now nine has to advance two positions along the track. Did it grab it? Oh, it helps if you grab it first. Move. Grab, go. Okay. Grab. Okay. Okay. This is good. This looks better. So we've kind of got the middle bit made, apart from the two bonds here. Ah, uh, but that's fine. We can fairly easily figure out a way to add those when we're spinning it around to add these on the outside. So the tricky bit now is how do we add the salt on the outside? 
without banging into all of the stuff around it. Okay, I think I want to I want to use nine to manipulate it, and I want to grab the the thing in the middle now, and I want eight just to move out the way so we clear some space over here to do what we need to do. So from this point, eight can just reset after it's done that. Kind of weird, why? going off and resetting. Okay, nine is in control. <sighs> to get enough space around. We've got to move nine two more positions down the track. Okay, that works. We've got enough space around it to stick stuff on. And we are also well positioned for one of the salt atoms as well. So if we put a bonder here, uh, are we gonna have collisions with anything else? make a let's make or whatever what's this one here I think hiding five let's make five one of these the bond are there and now five is going to be responsible for pushing that in so once we get all the way back here five is going to I can probably do it earlier I'm just going to grab and then extend. Oh, but nine needs to be grabbing the middle. It's not currently grabbing the middle. What's it currently grabbing? That one. Okay, that works. This is that salt atom bonded to the green and it's lying next to the blue. But nine needs to drop, extend and grab. So, the drop, extend and grab. Oh shoot, what did I do? I think five let go, did it? No. Right, good. So we've got the thing in the middle. And now we just go around 
sticking bits together. Uh, and I'm going to have to put another bonder here so that when these two rotate past it, they get stuck together as well. But otherwise, it's just nine, ro nine pivots counterclockwise, five does its thing. So, nine pivots counterclockwise, five does its thing, I think we can do it, oh no, I copy all of that, don't copy all of that, just copy that, and we've got to do that six times all together, so one, two, three, four, five, six. wait for the first one until this is... Oh no, maybe not actually. No, okay, perfect. So we just need to do pivot. Uh, all of these, one, two, three, four. And is that it? Bonds around the middle, bonds across that way, and salt where it needs to be. I think that's it. <laughs> now we've got to get it out of there. Well, I guess we just shunt it all the way to the top. So, Red is taking the lead. So, it's going to be like that. And like that. Um, I guess we might be able to... Oh no, we're already... We already have the arm back that way. Okay. Well, we just need to go, we do need to go all the way back to this track here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it should be out. And then we reset. And as long as everything else has been reset, which three has not. God. Way back in the days when we were using this thing. Where is a safe point to... Uh... After that. So here. Reset that. So maybe if we're lucky, that will work. Who knows? Fast forward to there. Uh, no! Oh God. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, don't panic. There's room for nine to bring it in. does mean we need to go there. So we need to pull it in S, 
then go another one along the track. Why is that not going to the output? Oh god, because we've got an extra bond here. Oh no. What put that in? It's already there then. Oh, it's when it crosses this. again. That's where it creates the bond that we don't want. Why do we want that? because we want to pull it to there and then use it to... Put bonds between these outside ones that don't have them. use this in here. Ah, oh, because that will then create more bonds between the centre. shouldn't be one. It's going to end 
involve changing this though as well. this there because it's going to hit this. Ugh. I mean we, uh, we can do it. It's really messy. But at this stage it's get a solution. So, don't do this just yet. Along to here we. Actually, here we want to do need to go the other way. to move back along the track and then we're in position where we can start doing that and now all of the ones around this ring are correct and there's none to the middle one that shouldn't be there. There we go back and we stick that on. And we need to move these rotates back. Well, actually we don't need to. Ooh, wait, 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 don't do that. fine. Do not retract there though. Need to swap the order. Whoa. The order of those two. do that to get past this. It's another 
verbanden. Oh god, going crazy. Would it even work if this was here though? bonds all along here so passing through this would be fine so we need to change this to do that there instead which means has to advance another position. need to have pulled it down. Now before this drops, it needs to come in. Okay. Nine. What is nine doing now? thing. That might be the right thing there. Let's drop it in so I can get that. 
that makes the other bond. Instead of this, I think it just needs to extend. Okay. Now it pulls it in. Still not right. What's wrong now? Wait, what? Oh, hang on, has nine let go yet? It has let go. Definitely let go, but that's not right. Are we just in the wrong? I like that. Yes! Oh my goodness. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what this solution's like. That felt fairly terrible. Cost 425, above average, but not terrible. Cycles 420, above average and fairly terrible. Area 81, average. Okay, well, that was fairly underwhelming. <laughs> hmm. Hard not to feel that I could do better. This really feels like something where we just want to in from scratch, try and make something better. So many bits going on here. I mean, I'd like to explore the idea of of bonding these pairs together, and then assembling the pairs in a circle, and finishing off by. it would be finishing off by yeah pushing this in the last pair maybe i'll try that uh momentarily uh but i'm gonna take a quick five minute break first uh, and then i'll be back and see whether we can improve on this don't go away be right back
Okay. Let's try this again. Um, I won't get rid of everything. This is still what it needs to be. But honestly, everything else is probably just simpler to go. Well, yeah. So we're going to try twice. Reset. Two grabs. Clockwise once. And reset, I think. We've got that. This will grab hold of the color.
Okay. Three. Once this is dropped it off, grabs it. Releases. So it's released. Four can grab it. Rotate clockwise with it. Next we want fire. So after one has passed through here, start doing one, two, three rotations to get fire ready. And go again, one, two, Just rotates. Oh no. Four. Oh, is that going to be the fatal flaw? Oh, now needs to grab later. Go 
Okay. So the next time we got to do something a bit different. Bring in the light atom instead. So to do that, we need that. How many more? We've got two more of these, which is good. like to get it in the same place. I don't have to mess around with anything different. How achievable is that? do that. I think it'll be the question of what to do about the dark one, but uh, that's the last one to go in, so maybe maybe we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's do this one first. I also do really want anything getting into this area over here. Just try this. Grab, extend, extend, reset. Grab, extend, reset. Two has to wait. Oh, it's gone back to the beginning anyway. I, think I can only go kind of here. Grab, maybe grab there. And then rotate counterclockwise. That will drop the light into here. Two has to wait to go until I've done that. Then we 
just get three doing its thing again. Uh, something still have a little bit. Fate still have a little bit. keep going with the colors so next would be green then blue so five needs to rotate clockwise by one to flip Rotated. Does four need to go? As soon as three has dropped it off. I guess it's always in relation to three, so. to spin three times. one is a bit different. should move it somewhere else to build it. We need a tin, a dark and a salt. So the dark and the salt still have kind of the same configuration as the rest.
The issue is kind of just we need to push a tin in there before, like now. Yeah, we definitely we do have to do this differently because we've got to we've got to get this out of here now. So the question is where to move it to do that. We can move the tin anywhere. This portable. This is basically where it is. Uh, and there's a few places we can get a salt which is handy. We might even try using one of these maybe to bond the three bits together and then just slide them into the middle. Probably, probably pull it off this way. Means four needs to <clears throat> four needs to rotate uh, two more times. If it does that. That's going to put a... Uh, no, it's not, actually. Okay. Oh, it needs to rotate two more times. Oh, no. This is not right. Green one should be hanging over the blue, but it's not. Oh no! How did I miss that? Oh no, come on. Oh, 
Okay, we want to start it again. We don't worry. Don't worry about that. We can stop that. So yeah, it's just this last bit. Hmm. And pull it down here. God, we gotta move it a long way there. It's hard to see where this needs to end up next. Once nine has finished, is ten can grab. Actually, once nine is finished, ah, uh, well, no, let's do this. So ten will grab here. twice twice and then we'll drop off and we'll keep going against clockwise <clears throat> to the dark pick that up go clockwise thing is working out how to get this back. So this needs to be hanging over the blue. start moving it around to get an idea of exactly where it's going to be. Because it's too hard to visualize where it's going.
So we'll grab that. Uh, maybe I'm better. Better grabbing that. down to and then pivot counterclockwise. Grab do the counterclockwise. That is correct. Yeah, okay. Uh, the other stuff is trying to do its thing again. We should stop that. we could pivot go down one less and pivot earlier I think this will work oh okay it did uh, except I can't pivot again which is what I really want to do because I'm gonna hit four So, yeah, okay. Leave this out of the way for the minute. Don't need to pivot again. Come back up the track. Um, not sure, maybe not necessarily. Keep it down there. Ooh. Can actually use this to make. Can we? This was up here. Yeah, that would be right. Where's 10? 10 did its thing way back here. Um, so it's got hold of it here. Let's just... Rotate clockwise. E. And probably let go. And then we can have yet another arm. Arm 12. be able to. Oh wait, it can't. But we can go here. Mm, it's got to wait. The 12 grabs the tin here. Rotate 
rotates clockwise. And that should have bonded it. Uh, oh, I put it in the wrong place. Moving 11, I think I needed to move 12. Yes. Okay. So that has the right bits in the right configuration. Although getting it past this is now tricky. Oh boy. Task never ends. Okay. Do this instead. Give ourselves a bit more room. Make this a piston. And then 12 can pull in. And now we are free. Except 12 isn't going to be able to pull it put it into the middle, is it? Oh shoot. Can't even do that anymore. Ah, oh, 12 needs to go first. 12 needs to go before. It's got to go after tennis. Oh. Ah. So that works, but it's just getting it out is basically impossible. Maybe we need to make 10 too long.
thing is, how would I even get this in the middle anyway? I mean, I'd have to slide. Oh, actually, we're okay, I think. Well. Yeah, I need to slide on a track. Oh my goodness, is this going to be any better than our first solution? I'm not convinced. So what point can it start moving? Probably. Maybe here. 12, grab. Needs to be one of these as well. Advance along the track. Now, can I rotate for speed? I do it earlier, which I could do. Ah, uh, but uh, no. Oh. That and that. And I don't know. To that. And then we'll extend by two. Hmm. That. That's what I was trying to avoid. What if I wait till that's all done? Oh shoot, what's he doing now? Is 11 resetting? No. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, we don't want it there, though. Oh. 
code. Uh, everybody else needs to stop. Get in there. Unless I rotate. Extend, rotate, then extend. No, do it. Rotate and extend. Ah, oh, God. Rotate and pivot. Is this even possible? What I'm trying to do. Go back on the track. Go back on the track. Pivot counterclockwise and then extend. Go back on the track. Pivot counterclockwise and then extend. Okay, that. Actually, did what it was supposed to do. We're going to extend again. And we're going to advance on the track twice, I think. No, just. Ah, oh yeah, twice. And if I have the right things in there well I need something here and I've just got to hope that doesn't create a bond where I don't want it Ooh. seems unlikely with all the spinning that's going on around there yeah look we've created a bond there Ah, oh, this puzzle. Oh my god, what a terrible solution, even if it works. It looks like it did actually work. do the job. All of a sudden we're going to create a bond where we don't want one as well. Uh, yeah. Yep, now we've created one there. Let's not do that. Do that. That'd be all right. Uh, 
Nope, because now that bonds to that. Um, okay, well, we can maybe put this here. 12 does have hold of the middle. They can now spin it counterclockwise twice. Has 11 still got hold of it? Does. Okay, eleven let go. Oh no, it's creating bonds in the middle. Don't do that. Okay. Let's advance two more spaces. This is going to be just as bad as the first solution. Ah, do put a bond there. Oh god! Oh, I've still got this hideous bond cutter there. I mean, that's just an all-round bad solution. This is just isn't working. Feels like I'm getting to the stage of the game where if I get a solution, I'm good. Any solution is fine. piston and pull it in. On there, would that mess anything up? Because we could 
grab this and push it in there. We could do it with a bond there. Doesn't look like anything's got a bond that shouldn't have one. The 11 needs to let go. Advance along the track. And grab on again. And then extend. was doing. I bought an extend twice. Oops. It's got to shrink. bond in the right place there. Twelve has hold of the middle. The only thing left to do is to put a bond between here and here and a bond between here and here. Do it in a way that doesn't create any other bonds in this structure where there shouldn't be any. to use some kind of combination of some way to maneuver this get these on there
Levin can drop at this point. It's hard to see where it needs to go, but let's just experiment. The 12 extends. Uh, okay, that's only because everything else has started off again. Move this down here. Again. All right, is that is that correct? Uh, let's to see. Let's rotate that in the same orientation and do that. links all the way around here we've got a link going across here and then one link to each salt so that looks right to me the only remaining question is the best way to get it out Maybe we can just rotate it. Maybe I can get rid of this. How far along did 12 need to go in the end? Goes to the bottom. That's it. Okay. That was the, if it gets rotated once, it would end up like that. in the middle of that point so it would end up there is that right Tate reset is that right it is right all right Rock and roll. No, 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 no. Thing was missed. Probably the resetting of five. So we seem to have salt. Yeah. Uh, why do we need to reset that? Instead of the red one? Oh, the reason it grabs the red one 
place because it rotates again, but it could grab that. It is within reach. from here well it might be all right actually there's a fair amount of clear space there Keep running this, see what result we get, and then we can see if we can optimize that little bit of inefficiency out without breaking anything. Uh, well, it was faster than last time, 407 rather than the 420. Uh, bigger area and more expensive. So, yeah, we made it faster, but not much faster. That was a bit disappointing. What if we do this instead though? This is gonna change what happens here. Pivot is where things are gonna change. Do that. What if we swap these? Then pivot. Pivot again. No, we're going to hit that. But we could pull in because we need to pull in, I think. this out because we won't need it. If we pull in here. same time it's not saved as any cycles so can we do this earlier
point can we pull in? We can't pull in there. Yeah, this is all going in the area where this would need to be manipulated. back. Don't know how far though. Ugh. What I do? That doesn't work. Can we not pull this back at all? take the clock off maybe that would help let's just make sure this is still getting out it is take this off start running again. Well, I guess it's here, isn't it? Nine is going there. Let's make, make it wait until here. That help? as we can do. Okay, how does that help? Okay, that's made a big difference. Down to 370 cycles from 407. Uh, I did increase the cost. And I did increase the area as well. But it is fast. Faster. And 
this is still the smallest and cheapest. And this is neither cheapest, nor fastest, nor smallest. So it can be deleted. smaller and cheaper. <laughs> uh, I guess we could make this even cheaper. Clockwise release, grab it, uh, actually grab it, rotate, two positions counterclockwise, release, grab it, it. one position counterclockwise, and release, because it's so much earlier than everything anyway. a bit cheaper. Uh, nothing else immediately jumps out there. smaller. Yeah, obviously one less piston. Uh, so let's delete that and rename that. Still not as cheap as I would like. This really isn't as fast as I would like either. Um, but I think that is all we have time for tonight anyway. So I think I'm going to call that one there. I'm about to dissolve the transmutation engine itself. We must be sure every piece of the plan is set. As far as I can ascertain, we are ready. Nils has taken the packages. Clara is set for her stunning debut. And you are truly ready? I should be the one asking you. There's no choice. It must go. All of it. Then good riddance. Yes, let's go. <laughs>